What's up, everybody? It is the 8th of October, and tomorrow is the opener for our elk hunt. So, we got up here this afternoon, got camp set up, and went and found the areas that we're gonna go in the morning. It's super cold. It's like pouring rain. Yeah, that... we got we got poured on. Um, and conveniently, my heater's broke on my truck. Cause why would it work in a time like this? <laughs> it's so cold. But hopefully, it'll stop raining in the morning, so that we can actually get some action in. But I don't know. But. One of the good things about it raining is some people are kind of wimping out and they're leaving the mountain, so that's good. More elk for us. We're going to stay till the end. Yes, sir. But, all right. We'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning. It is still pretty cold, but we woke up, got our shoes on, got all the stuff that we need to go. And so, we're ready to go kill some elk. So, we will definitely keep you updated and hopefully, here very shortly, you guys are aware of some, uh, some fun stuff happening. All right, I've got about half an hour until I can actually see. And I've got to this point right in glass, like 360 degrees around. So I'm just gonna bunker up here under this tree. trucks that I saw this morning.
Oh guys, I haven't been seeing uh, haven't been seeing much sign in here, so I'm gonna start making my way back towards the truck and uh, made her about 400 yards. And the canyon I originally planned on being in this morning had five shots ring off in it, so someone got something. Uh, it's still pretty early; it's like 9:30 right now, so. I'm not completely giving up hope on the area, but I'm gonna stay hunkered down right here for a minute and try and try and dry off a little bit. I'm pretty soaked. I'm just gonna glass as much of this hillside as I can, and then uh, hopefully make it back to the truck before this rain moves in. But I'm gonna catch a quick bite, try and glass, and just see if I can't turn something up right now. Uh, probably gonna look around on scout to hunt. See if I can't find a really nice, promising canyon. Uh, by the way, if you guys don't use Scout to hunt, you're missing out. Scout to hunt's probably probably one of my favorite apps that are out there. Uh, I'm lucky enough to be partnered with them on their uh, architect program, which is pretty cool. So go check them out. I really love using their maps, but. There's a couple, there's a couple other draws that I've been looking at that I can go get into. And honestly, if this rain moves in, I'm just gonna head back to camp. I'm not gonna sit here and get soaked. I've still got two and a half days up here, so it's not worth it. But I might end up going to where Carter and Braden are hunting. They've got they've got a little lower elevation, and while it was raining everywhere up here last night there was almost no rain over where they're hunting so might end up moving over there with them but i haven't even seen an animal over here so my hopes aren't very high i really don't have any idea how the other guys have done um but i got over that hill glass like crazy and just couldn't see anything um, so then I I walked down the bottom probably half a mile and then I popped up the other ridge I'm about halfway up the other ridge that was across from me this morning but so far no luck for me I haven't seen anything I just heard those branches breaking I assumed it's a bull actually I'm getting snowed on now so that's gonna be fun but yeah Alright guys, so it is now uh, about 12.30 and I've kind of contemplated whether I should stay where I'm at all day until dark tonight or head back to my four wheeler and then go back to camp, see if Brandon and Brandel had any luck. And then figure out a game plan for tonight. And I finally decided that I'll head back. So then I gotta figure out a plan for tonight. But I was uh I was walking down this ridge to head back towards my four-wheeler. And I noticed I could see my four-wheeler from where I'm sitting right now. But I looked right next to my four-wheeler, and Brandel's truck is there. So I don't know exactly what that means. I mean, that could mean that Brandel got tired of the area he was in. And he drove over here because he knew where I was at. So either he drove over here just to see if I had any luck, or he drove over here to find me because he had luck so maybe he got something but I figured I'd just start hiking back and maybe I'll run into Brandle or maybe he's sitting in his truck up there and you know we'll see hopefully he got something 
Well, I just made it back to the four-wheeler. And as you can see, Brannell's truck is no longer here. But it left me a little note. It says, we are at camp. Love you. So better head back to camp to figure out the plan. so that spot didn't really pan out so we went back to camp packed up and now we're heading to a new spot and we're gonna try that and see if that pans out that's pretty sweet so we're just walking up walking through this sagebrush i got me a sweet deadhead buck Oh yeah, he ain't a bad buck at all, dude. Heck yeah. I'm gonna get this thing marked. That was cool, thank you, thank you. Yeah. I'm gonna get this thing marked and get some footage. Turn it into DWR. See if I can get it back. Finally made it to the top. And I was just joking to Carter and Braden that I found this little shed. And Carter just has Crush me. I'm gonna take three by four. This thing's awesome, let me show you. Look how nice that thing is. That's that's awesome. Good job, buddy. I'm gonna go see if I can find Caleb. I heard him yell back there. three-point and then Braden is coming over and he's got a set of shits let's see it Braden I want to find him just as much as everybody else but sometimes you gotta stop for a second and go pick something up dude that's awesome yeah His bases are sick yeah that's awesome dude now we just gotta find an elk yes sir We've literally been stopped for like five seconds. Caleb and Carter were standing right next to this and Brandon just went another point. We're standing right next to that thing. I want to find an elk. Come on. I just gotta find me a decent horn that's still holding together somewhat. still hunting elk but we've got about six hours till dark and just right back here I'm gonna set up tonight and hope something pops over the top of the hill but this area that we're in is just loaded with sheds everybody keeps finding horns so so I don't just sit there and waste a couple hours of time that elk aren't gonna come out I'm gonna go on a little shed hunt for a second maybe I'll bump an elk and get lucky that way, but I'm gonna go find some horns first. Well, I just walked through. I got me another shed or something. I don't know exactly what it is yet. Ooh. Oh, that's a good four point. Heck yeah. something up. Four point. Heck yeah, let's go. Heck yeah, baby. Sweet. Well, uh, finally made it over to the spot that we're supposed to set up on. Carter's about 200 yards down the ridge. And Brayden 
much farther than that, but the place I originally planned to set up, I couldn't see anything. So I came over here, which is the next best option. And looking on Scout to Hunt, you can kind of see that we're pretty close to the border of some private land in the CWMU. service but we've got about 200 yards this way to uh, 200 yards this way to shoot and then about 800 yards this way which is plenty for me you know I'm not not a long range shooter but it would have been nice to have a little bit more room going this way but that's just our battle and planning so I'm gonna sit here and just try and find something to shoot uh, you know if not then I guess it sucks for us but it's still been an awesome trip at least I think we have like eight sheds found now bunch of branches just broke up on There's something up behind us, but it's been a good trip, so hopefully we can capitalize on it now. I just killed my first duck, baby! Hold yeah! On. Hold on. Hold on. 200 yards! <laughs> Make sure he's dead. Make sure he's dead. Brad, do I got one too? Hold on, no, 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 no. I'm poking him in the eye. No, go okay. Just give me a hug, please. <laughs> Dude, that was 200 yards yeah. off him. Yeah. Right, stay here. I don't boy, Braden. Dude, yes! Whoa! Holy trail, dude. What? Holy blood trail. Carter, you want me to come with you? you oh. I. I don't know how I did that. I was a little over half a mile away at the packs and I, just, I glassed down to where Carter and Caleb were <clears throat> and I saw elk. And we had like 10 minutes of light left that I could legally shoot, so I booked it down here. I ran like half a mile. I got about 200 yards from this elk, saw that it had antlers, and I offhand shot 200 yards and I dropped him in his tracks. That was insane. I've never had an experience like this. That This is freaking awesome. All right, guys. Well, I haven't updated you for a while. I got all dejected and impatient and stuff, and I, I left. I went and hiked somewhere else and started looking at some stuff. I was sitting in a tree about five yards, 10 yards that way. And you're never gonna believe what Braden just did. Brayden just absolutely smoked this bull at 200 yards. Dude, he didn't even go all the, it did, the bull didn't even go all the way through, did it? No. Yeah, dude, he sm oh, wow. absolute Brayden, dude, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. You smoked I, him, man. I, I saw this bull uh, probably about 800, 900 yards, and I started running faster than I ever ran in PE. <laughs> uh, I got to about 200, I was shaking like crazy, uh, but I got the adrenaline down, got myself focused, and shot Offhand at 200 and Dude, I look at that velvet pretty much hanging. dropped him. Look at that velvet hanging. That's that's sick. <sighs> this is my Man, very first elk off. ever. Look at that, guys. This is this is unreal. I'm pumped I for you, Braden. 
This is amazing. It's Time for the pack awesome out. Day. Yeah, why'd you make us pack a bull out, dude? What the heck? I don't heck? know why I can't shoot anything, like, in the morning. It's, yeah. I just, I'm not like that. We've all got work tomorrow, and now we got to pack a bull out. I don't know if I'm sleeping tonight. Sorry, guys. Uh, it's all good, dude. There's no better way I'd love to spend it. Is it the tenth today? Um, I think. Okay, it's October. And it's the tenth. All right, everybody, back out here again. It's the following weekend from when Brain shot his spike. We're heading back in the same spot because we actually didn't do much explaining so from the start Braden and Brandle both said that they're gonna shoot anything with horns even spike but I personally didn't want to shoot a spike just because I've I've had an elk tag before and I've killed a bull so I figured I'd hold off give these guys a chance to maybe hold off for something bigger and the day brain shot his spike uh, I got that phone scope video of him and me and Caleb sat there and watched him forever and there was another bull that was back bugling in the trees so it's been almost a week since we've been in here it's Friday night right now and we got Friday Saturday Sunday and then Brayden's got to go home Sunday night. And me, Caleb, and Brandle are staying out here on Monday. And Brandle's also coming up tonight, but he's going to be a little bit later. So we'll head back up into this spot. And hope those elk come back in and start feeding on that side hill. And just hope for the best. Hopefully we can put something on the ground. Pack another one up. All right, everybody, a little update. So we decided to change spots from the area where we were last night, I guess, technically. Um, so we decided to change areas. Start coming up this gnarly road that we've never been on before. And um, so I recently lifted my truck, so I don't know if that really had anything to do with it. I'm thinking it did, but uh, my rear axle on my truck kind of shifted, and uh, kind of took a while to get it all fixed up. Thankfully, I had all the tools that I needed to get it done. But now it's 2 o'clock in the morning. And I didn't want to take everything out of the bed of my truck. To set the cots up. Which is what I did last weekend. So I'm in the front seat of my truck. Brain's out there getting warmed up by the fire before he comes back in. I actually think he might be coming. Oh no he's not. And then Brandle and Caleb are in Brandle's truck sleeping. So... Got an alarm set for 5.30, and it's 2 o'clock, so sometimes you just got to go with it. It happens, but uh, hopefully we'll have some good luck, some better luck tomorrow, but stay tuned.
Good morning. It was kind of a terrible night. <laughs> Miserable. It was so cold. I guess I was. I decided to stay by the fire, and the fire was like super warm for a little while, and then it would die, and I'd freeze my butt off. But uh, we got about three hours of sleep. Got up here this morning. We've got two elk spotted. So now we're gonna start making a game plan. Try to get a move on them. All right, so we drove down the road a little bit further, closer to where we glassed up those two elk this morning. And uh, when we got a little bit closer, it's kind of like they just disappeared like elk do sometimes but we followed along the ridge I uh, got right under where they were and they've probably gone into the trees to bed <clears throat> which actually surprises me because it's only like nine o'clock and it's fairly cold but I don't know there could be a couple different possibilities we were making our way back to the truck and I'm guessing a lot of you don't really know us personally all that well, but Carter gets really bad migraines sometimes. We were about halfway to the truck and a migraine started kicking in and he kind of just had to drop down and rest for a couple hours. So I'm heading back to the truck getting some medicine and some water, coming back to Carter and Caleb and uh, let him rest it out, get feeling better, and we'll go from there. Well, we're just driving down the road and we see the ranger, so we thought Brando was here. I don't know what the heck he did, but oh my goodness. All right, everybody. Been a while since we updated, but uh, look who I found. I found you. Well, yeah, they found us. But um, we've had we've had quite a day so far. It's been pretty interesting. So, uh, Derek found out that he can hunt early rifle. So he came up with Braxton, who you guys have seen before. But um, before that. Brandel slept in because uh, he's been working graveyard, so he's gone. He went a couple days without sleep, so he slept in this morning. And me, Braden, and Caleb went out and ended up seeing a couple elk, but no bulls, uh, just some cows it looked like. But then we uh, start heading back to the truck, and we started heading back to where we were camped to go meet up with Brandel, and we found Brandel's truck on the side of the road with a blown tire and Brandel's not there. So we use my jack, we drop his spare and uh, we replace the tire real quick. And uh, then we ran into Braxton and Derek and now we are on the look for basically anything with horns here. Pretty much. If it's an elk and it's got horns, it's dead. And if it's a deer and it's got horns, it's dead. So. Oh, we're hoping for the best, but what time is it, Derek? It's 3.17. So we still got time tonight. We're going to go out to this uh, glassing point out here. Uh, we got Braxton and his truck behind us with Caleb, and then Brandel behind him with Braden. So we're just going to get out to this one glassing point and hopefully find some deer and deer or some elk or both best case scenario best case scenario we'll pack out two bulls and a buck tonight so oh yeah well stay tuned and we'll see what happens all right everybody so it's like it's like 6 30 and i got caleb with me everybody else kind of went their own way split up into groups of twos but i think those four are together glassed like probably about a thousand yards out and I think I counted eight elk. So
so we're gonna we're gonna give her our best shot. We got we got a little bit until shooting lights over like an hour or so. So we're gonna try and hurry. distance on the elk last night we ran out of daylight but uh this morning i got Braden and caleb with me we're heading back up to see if we can catch them feeding this morning so we'll see if they're up there Hit him! Yeah! Dropped him, baby! My God! Woo! Oh, no. Hey! That's what, That's I'm, what talking I'm talking about! Let him on! Let's go! Hold on, hold on. Hold on, he got back up. Let's go. See a five by five? Heck yeah, dude. Okay, hold on, that one shot that I hit him when he was laying down, I hit him right in the butt. There we go, baby. Baby. Hey, yeah. how do you feel? Oh, heck yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, the blessing in the spot in disguise. I, where like where did he come from? Dude, he, I don't know, dude. He jumped right over that fence. <laughs> dude. My first shot was almost perfect. Come here. Oh yeah. Well, that was a little off, but oh, yeah. for being pressed for time, that was pretty good. Oh yeah. 
That was a good shot. Let's look at these uh, beautiful ivory. Beautiful animal. Oh, he's falling on me. Ladies and gents, we got it done. No tag soup for me this year. Now all we gotta do is worry about Brandle. We still got a couple days to get it done for him. But we're heading back down to the truck right now. We're gonna get on, get this meat taken care of and get the head taken care of. I got my shoes. Made it down to the truck. Got the bull in the bed. Got the job done. Shirtless piece of gear. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> and then these two showed up a little bit too late, but. but... I get a hold of you. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting there radioing them for like an hour plus, and they. No, no answer. But. <laughs> ah! Hands over there. the camera. There's a whole three. Yeah. But. Got it done. <laughs>